Today's Medicare lesson is going to be about this upcoming annual enrollment period, or when I say upcoming, uh, you might be viewing this video right in the middle of the period, which is October 15th to December 7th. And we can start giving you prices and benefits of the Medicare Advantage plans as early as October 1st. Now, what I want to do today, and I'm going to do today, is equip you with some basic information about Medicare that I find lacking in a lot of our customers that have been on Medicare for years is they have some understanding of what they're covered on, what they get from it, mostly from experience, and they don't have a good basic understanding of Medicare and how it works. So that's what we're going to do today. So Medicare is in four parts. It's part A, part B, part C, and part D. So immediately, it makes it a little bit confusing. Why does it need to be four parts? Why can't it just be Medicare? Well, part A is your hospital and skilled care. So your whole hospital bill is going to be covered under part A. And if you were to use a rehab or a skilled nursing care facility, your part B is your doctor and outpatient. So you need both. You need A and B, and you're going to have the hospital under A and then all the medical under Part B and the outpatient. Um, and Part A and Part B make up what is original Medicare. Many of you don't have to worry about Part C because you're not on it and you don't want to get on it. And so there's a whole bunch of worry about nothing um, as it comes to Part C is if it's not a consideration for you. But let's just stay up here on what is original Medicare, Part A and Part B. And you get this and you signed up for this when you turn 65 or after. And you have one of these little red, white, and blue cards in your wallet. And what it states is when you started Part A, when you started Part B. And you signed up directly from the government, from Social Security Administration and Medicare. Uh, you got these, you pay nothing for Part A, that just comes, and Part B you pay $144.60 a month for in 2020. They haven't announced yet the filming of this video what 2021 will be, it might be a little bit more than that. Um, and then for those of you that have a high income, you pay this thing called IRMA, or you pay an added Part B charge and uh, we'll talk about that in another video. If you want some help with that or some consulting, you can get in touch with us or get in touch with me directly. So you got Part A and Part B, and many of you, that's what you're on, okay? And you need to have, and it's recommended that you have, if you have Part A and Part B, that you have one of these things called a Medicare supplement. And that's what we're talking about over here and I'm going to get to that in a minute. I just want to state that if you have original Medicare, the deductibles and the co-payments are so high and the liability there that you really need one of these supplements to go on top of it. Okay? Now, what Part C and Part D are is they're just different than original Medicare. So, and this is what the annual enrollment period October 15th to December 7th is all about, is during this period of time, you can make elections to where you're going to go on a Part C. And that election is to receive your Medicare benefits from a private insurance company like Humana, Aetna, United Healthcare, AARP, Cigna, and so on and so forth. You actually sign up for a Part C or make the Part C election through a private insurance company. And we do make those elections for people. We're in this business. Part of why I'm doing this video, if you want consulting or help with this, um, and you want all this turned in and applied to you personally so you can make good decisions, that's what we do. And we do it in all 50 states. We do it by telephone um, and the internet and email. We're able to do this kind of consulting right over the phone during the COVID era, um, you don't have to meet with anybody face-to-face. -face. Um, so your Part C, 
when you're on that, you, in order to get a Part C, you've got to be on Part A and Part B. You're just not going to get your benefits anymore directly from the government. You're going to get them directly from the insurance company that you pick. We represent all these companies right here um, and more. And we can enroll you in one of these. Um, and then when you do that, you say, well, w why would I want to do that? I mean, why would I want to rock the boat and get this from a private insurance company? Well, many of these come with no monthly cost and zero premium. I mean, it's just, so you enroll and you pay nothing. I mean, you're still paying this money to the government for Part B, but you don't have to pay any money to the insurance company, or if it's some money, it's very little. And that gives you the opportunity to cancel your Medicare supplement. In fact, you have to cancel your Medicare supplement because it just doesn't work with a Part C plan. So this is the motivation of a lot of people, or the first motivation to go on a Part C is they can dump their Medicare supplement. Okay. Now, another advantage to Medicare Advantage, that's double word, uh, Part C, is it includes a Part D drug plan. So, you know, you, you, when, when you get this zero premium with that, you're also going to get a prescription drug plan. Now, the downside of that is you don't get to pick your drug plan. You're just going to end up with whatever drug plan Humana is attaching to your medical benefits. But still, that's not a real big problem. And so you're going to get this whole package either at low cost or most often zero cost. And then if you were on original Medicare before you made this election, um, you can dump your Part D plan along with your Medicare supplement. So it's significant cost savings. These Part C plans also come many times with dental benefits, vision benefits, eyeglasses, um, sometimes hearing aid benefits and then gym membership and an assortment of other things that are attractive to people. So I'm simplifying this and I just really want to give you a sense of what's going on and the type of consulting that we give people, um, which, which in my experience people really need is this kind of basic understanding and they need to know that the people that are doing the consulting or the selling or whatever you want to call it really have the big picture in their best interest at heart. So you got Medicare Part A, Part B, which you get directly from the government. You need to keep paying that and stay on that if you want to elect a Part C. And then a Part C is going to include a Part D. Okay. Now, this, these elections, these two things are what you can do from October 15th to December 7th. What you can also do is leave a Part C. I mean, you may be on one of these Part C plans and you just had enough of it and you want to go back to original Medicare and then if you're going to do that, you're going to need to purchase a supplement. We handle that as well and I'm going to explain some facts about that as well. Um, but just so you understand is you can, you can come into a Part C plan and a Part D plan or you can leave a Part D plan Part C and Part D and go back to original Medicare. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Medicare supplements. And just the first thing is you can only have this in combination with original Medicare. Now, when we get into the Medicare supplement, the government over 30 years ago standardized these things. So they made the policies that are sold by the different companies, which we've got a list of some of them here, they're exactly the same and they called them by letters of the alphabet, just like Medicare's name. And this is where just people get completely confused. They mix up these things for the parts of Medicare and they have almost nothing to do with each other. So I'm gonna simplify this for this presentation is the currently available plans to all people that are on Medicare. Uh, the plan G has the most benefits, okay? Um, and so, Many times these more expensive companies are going to steer you to another plan because it's less expensive and it kind of muddies the waters. But if you want to get the plan that pays the best, that's currently available to everyone, it's the plan G. It's going to leave you with very little out of pocket if you get sick between Medicare and the supplement. And what I wanted to point out 
is we have an example up here of a female age 72 on a plan G who's single and not getting a household discount. And I showed you a low cost state, which happens to be my home state, North Carolina, which is typical of the lower cost states. And then I showed you Florida and this stuff is expensive in Florida. And this isn't the highest cost state, but it's, it's up there and it's right there in the bounds. So what I really wanted to show you is not the difference between the two states, but I wanted to show you the difference in prices that insurance companies charge for exactly the same thing. I mean, if you look here in North Carolina, Aetna will charge for a Plan G to this lady, 72, $109.04 a month. And United American will charge her $253 for exactly the same thing. And still, I mean, you can look at Blue Cross, Colonial Penn, they're charging substantial premiums when if you're over here and you're down here or you're on a different plan and you really want us to evaluate, we represent most companies that sell this, over 40 companies, and we have those at our fingertips. And if one of these is appropriate for you, we're going to get you in one of the lesser expensive ones. So we can talk about that sort of thing. I don't want to get into too much detail on this. And so I, I really want to summarize by saying is your real decision during this period of time is do you want to be covered by original Medicare Part A and Part B and a supplement and a standalone Part D plan and that's what most of our customers are on or do you want to be covered under a Part C plan which is getting your Medicare Part A and Part B from a private insurance company. It's going to include a Part D. It's going to include some extra benefits like dental. But what it's not going to include is a premium or the monthly cost of the standalone Part D or the Medicare supplement premium. I mean, that's really the, the two different places that you can get. And then within those places, you've got all kinds of options of insurance companies that are going to provide that. So what we really do beyond selling insurance here is provide consulting to people like you um, to, to really apply all of this knowledge to your own situation and to your preferences and your budget. And we can offer you an assortment of companies and we don't have to charge for this consulting because the insurance companies, whether it's a Part C plan that you enroll in or it's a Medicare supplement, the insurance companies pay us a commission to do that. And so that covers the cost of doing this. If you want to get in touch with us, you can call us. You can go on our website. You can send us a message. You can email me personally at Hans at cardinalguide.com. I get a lot of emails that show up every day from people that have a question. Um, I'm Hans Scheil, and I thank you for listening.